News at 7. That's Air Force One at Palm Beach International Airport. President Donald Trump is in South Florida for the weekend, and his agenda begins with the victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting and the first responders who race to the scene. The president's trip to Mar-a-Lago was on his public schedule, but the visit related to the shooting was just announced a short time ago. His first stop is Broward Health North Hospital, where people are still recovering. CBS 4's Mike Cuneo is there. Mike. Yeah, guys, President Trump and the First Lady arriving here around 640 this evening here at Broward Health North. They're going to spend about an hour with the victims and their families, we believe. President Trump flew into West Palm, as you guys mentioned, just a couple hours ago before driving straight here to meet with the victims from Wednesday's high school shooting at Marjorie Soman Douglas. Now, this morning in a tweet, he said he would be working with Congress on many fronts. And if we remember from that address to the nation, on Thursday, he said the suffering here is our burden and that no child or teacher should ever feel like they're in danger at an American school. Trump went on to say that this later this month, he would meet with governors and attorneys generals from around the country and make school safety their top priority. Uh, according to Sheriff Scott Israel earlier today, we have an update on the victims. Uh, there's still seven victims who are still in the hospital recovering. Uh, from Wednesday shooting and back to President Trump. He also thanked law enforcement and teachers for their activity or for their actions during the shooting. President Trump said he would be tackling the issue of mental health. So that's what's going on here outside Broward Health North. President Trump, the first lady, we believe will spend about an hour here with the victims from Wednesday's shooting. Guys. All right, Mike, keep us posted on that. CBS4 Silva Hart